Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to align content in your Squarespace website. We're using a fluid engine section. If you see the add block button on the top left hand side of that section in edit mode, that means it's a fluid engine section and this tutorial is for you. Check the related links in the description below for more information about other versions of Squarespace. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to not only align the content inside a content block, but with other content blocks in that page section. We can align things horizontally and vertically. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and show you exactly how to do this. So here we are in Squarespace. I'm gonna hop into edit mode. Now if we scroll down here, I've got a few objects in this particular Fluid Engine section. One last reminder, when you see add block, that means you're using Fluid Engine and that's exactly what you need to be using to get these alignment options. So you'll notice I have a text block here. And when we hover over it, you'll see the outline of the content. I can change the vertical alignment here. I just click on it once, and this option allows me to align it in the center or at the bottom. I like the look of aligning this in the center, so I'm gonna leave it right there. Now down here, I have a button block. If we click this edit icon, I wanna show you, under design, I have this set to fit. If you have it set to filled, you're not going to see any alignment options. If you have it set to fit, we have the option to align it to the left, center, or right. I'll go ahead and align this to the left. Another way to get to that alignment option is to click on it and then select the option right here to align it horizontally. You can also align it vertically. You'll notice if I stretch this block and make it larger, here I can have it in the center or the bottom or the top. There we go, just like this text block. Again, all I did was click on it once. I'm not in the full edit mode. I'm using the simple edit menu right here to change the alignment. Now alignment for paragraph text is done inside the block. Whoops, didn't mean to move it. Let's go back, there we go. Now that I'm actually editing the content in this block, I can use this option to align the text center or right. Now this is really important. If I align this center, it's going to be center on desktop and on the mobile version of my site. That will be universal across all devices. So be careful if you adjust that for one specific device. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back to the left because I'd love to show you the last feature I wanted to talk about today. And that is aligning multiple content blocks at a time. If I take my cursor and just drag across all three of these content blocks until they're all highlighted and let go, I have a new alignment option right here. I can align this group to the left, center, or right horizontally, or align all of the content blocks to the top, center, or bottom. Isn't that amazing? Let's go ahead and align these to the left. And here, let's say I wanna make sure that this text is aligned with this image. I can highlight both of these and use that same feature right here to say middle and it's actually gonna scoot that text up so it's in the center of that image. Now I can realize, okay, maybe I wanna move this up a little bit, or maybe I just wanna change the vertical alignment for that text block, pushing it to the bottom. Whatever you're comfortable with, you can align the individual content blocks or select multiple blocks and align the group together. Now I'm gonna scroll down here. I have a duplicate of Gus there, let's ignore that. I wanted to show you these options here as well. Let's say we actually want to align all of the buttons and all of the audio, regardless of how long these paragraphs are. I can click on the block and holding the shift key on my keyboard, I can create a group. Now here I can say, let's align this group at the bottom and they'll all shift down to the lowest point. Now this looks a little off center from the rest of this content. So I'm gonna select this whole group here, click this option and center it. And you know what? I'll do the same for all of them. Let's grab this one. We'll click the option for the group and we'll center it. And then this one, option for the group and center it. Now if I want the audio tracks to be at the same level too, again, I can hold shift on my keyboard and select them to create an alignment group and align them at the bottom. And there we go. Now they've all shifted to where they needed to be and it looks a lot more streamlined for the section. One last pro tip that will help you with alignment. If you press G on your keyboard, you'll be able to see the grid behind the content blocks. So that's just pressing G on your keyboard if you want that grid to be visible while you're creating these alignment options. I also wanna mention if you select content blocks and move them around the page, this golden line will show up in the center when you're aligning it horizontally to the center of this section. That works for an individual block of content too. You can grab a group or a block of content and it will let you know when it's aligned with the center of the section. However you adjust your content in whatever section you're changing, just make sure you select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. A quick recap of all the options that we just covered. You can align content blocks together horizontally and vertically by using these options in the new design menu. 
Just select all of the items that you'd like to align together by either holding shift on your keyboard or using your cursor to gather them all. Now inside individual content blocks, you can change the horizontal and vertical alignments using this quick design menu right here. Now I do wanna mention for text specifically, as well as buttons, if you click on the content block and change the horizontal alignment, that's going to affect both desktop and mobile. Alrighty, that was a quick overview of your alignment options, and I hope you found this helpful. If you enjoyed this Squarespace tutorial, give me a like and a comment, and definitely subscribe to my YouTube channel, because I post a brand new tutorial every single week, and I want to make sure you catch the latest. I have another video to share with you, so stick around. Here's what's coming up next.